Hello everybody, and welcome for those of you that are new to my channel, please consider subscribing and be sure to click that bell notification for all of my newest videos. Okay, today I am making Mexican style cauliflower rice. It's going alongside some delicious mushroom fajitas. Be on the lookout for that recipe. And here's how I make it. Okay, to start, I will be using one 12 ounce bag of riced cauliflower. And I just bought this in the frozen food section of my grocery store. You can make your own fresh. I'm sure there are videos out there, but I'm using a 12 ounce bag of frozen riced cauliflower. And actually this is sort of semi-frozen by the time I start cooking it, which is okay. But you know, you'll want to thaw it for a quicker cook time. Okay, I'm also going to be using 12 ounces of low sodium chicken broth. Next, I'll be using a quarter teaspoon of ground cumin and the dry seasonings and spices in this, the ratios are up to you, but I like a quarter teaspoon of ground cumin. And I will also be using a half teaspoon of granulated garlic powder, a half teaspoon of granulated onion powder, and I will also be using one tablespoon of tomato paste. Here I only have around a half tablespoon, but ultimately I used one tablespoon. I'm also going to be using one minced clove of garlic and a third cup of chopped fresh onion. I didn't really weigh those ingredients as it's up to you. It's very forgiving if you want more or less. And lastly, I will be using salt and pepper to taste. Okay, so now I'm ready to make this. Here I have been preheating a small pot and to the bottom of this pot, I am going to add maybe a tablespoon or so of cooking oil. Next, I'm going to add my chopped onion and start to saute them. Once the onions start to soften, I am going to go ahead and start adding my garlic and then just continue sauteing. Once I've sauteed for about a minute, I'm going to start adding my dry seasonings and that will just help the seasonings warm through and then ultimately that'll create aromatic flavor to your cauliflower rice. So in goes the granulated garlic powder, the ground cumin and the onion powder. And again, I'm just going to keep sauteing this. Now I am working with like a medium heat. I'm not working with anything high because you would end up burning things if it got out of control. So I'm just going to combine this and then I'm going to add my tomato paste. As I stated earlier, I started with a half tablespoon of tomato paste, but ultimately I used a full tablespoon because I thought it needed more. I have made cauliflower rice several ways using tomato sauce, crushed tomato, but I think tomato paste really does elevate that tomato flavor without having it too saucy because this is not obviously rice where you need liquid to soften the rice as it cooks. You're basically going to create concentrated flavor and boil out the liquid that you use. I've added my 12 ounces of chicken broth. I'm going to give that a mix and now I'm going to add salt and pepper to taste. Now again, I'm using low sodium, so I am adding salt to taste, but if you're using something that already has a lot of salt in it, then skip this part. So again, going to combine this, and now I'm going to add my riced cauliflower. Once you've added your cauliflower, you'll want to combine it and mix it around and bring the whole pot of ingredients to a simmering boil. Now my riced cauliflower still has some frozen pieces in it, it's not completely thawed. So it's probably going to take a little while to come up to a simmering boil, but if yours is completely thawed, it might not take that long. So now that it is boiling and simmering away, by the way, I am using somewhere between a medium to medium high heat. I want to cook out and evaporate the liquid in this. 
and I'm going to just sort of stir, keep an eye on it for around 10 to 15 minutes. And basically the last five minutes of cook time, I'm going to cover it with a lid and just let the liquid cook out and let the flavors intensify. By the way, I am still working with a medium heat. You might want to lower it after you cover it. But after those five minutes, this is what the result is. And honestly, it is cauliflower, so it doesn't have that chewy gummy texture you get with rice, but this is pretty darn close in texture. And if you want, you can continue to sort of move it around and stir fry it in the pan just to, again, maybe get some golden brown bits in there, but just fluff and serve. Today I'm serving this with mushroom fajitas. I will link that recipe below this video and at the end, but take a look at this rice. So if you are looking for a low carb version of Mexican style rice, here's your recipe and it's very easy. Well, I certainly hope you enjoyed this recipe video. Please consider subscribing and be sure to click the bell notification to make sure you get my latest videos. So my low carb meal is served and we are ready to eat. I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it and thanks for watching.